Scott, you know, like a, one of the things I hear a lot from people, you know, they've just been recently arrested for a DUI and they're asking themselves, you know, am I going to lose my license? I know obviously each case is a little bit different, but could you give us a little bit of guidelines on how they could know? Sure. Well, there's a couple of different things that happen with your driver's license when you get arrested for DUI. Uh, one of the things that happens is through the Department of Motor Vehicles itself. Uh, and then the second has to do with the criminal case. So if we take the Department of Motor Vehicles issue first, um, the Department of Motor Vehicles is going to suspend your license if either you blew over the legal limit of 0 0.08 or if you refuse to take the breath test. And what happens is within the first 10 days of your arrest, you have an opportunity to request a hearing through the Department of Motor Vehicles uh, to determine whether or not they're going to uphold that suspension. Um, and if you request a hearing, what will happen is you'll, you'll get a hearing. It'll be within 30 days. Uh, and honestly, most of the time, those suspensions get upheld. Um, sometimes it's worth fighting. It depends on the case. Um, however, one of the options that you have uh, is in the first 10 days, if you want instead to give up your right to a hearing, you can request a hardship license, and they'll send you that hardship license immediately. There's a process, and there's a form you have to fill out, but there's a, they will send you a hardship license immediately. Uh, and that hardship license will actually allow you to drive back and forth to work um, and do the kind of life's necessities. So you can't go out and party, uh, but you can, you can do the things you would need to do with a driver's license. Um, so that's on the administrative suspension side, the DMV side of things. Um, on the criminal side of things, you're also facing a possible driver's license suspension if you're ultimately convicted of the DUI. Uh, and so, of course, that's a, you know, that's a big issue and um, one that you'd probably want to go talk to a lawyer about before you actually uh, made any decisions.